All right. Hi, everybody. This is week four of Six Weeks to Success. So um, thank you for spending this evening and letting me do the date change because um, of Halloween tomorrow night. I wanted to make sure that uh, we still got this in and didn't skip a week. Okay. So let me share my screen here. All right, can everybody see it? Hey, Sharon, how you doing? Good. Good. All right, everybody see everything? Okay, there we go. That's a little bit bigger, huh? Okay, six weeks to success, week four. Um, the halfway point, you're halfway there. If you've been listening and imp implementing, your calendar should be filling up. Anybody getting more stuff on their calendar? This next six weeks, it's crunch time. Okay, lessons learned. So far you've learned about increasing your product knowledge to help maximize your sales and bookings. Your belief decides what you can and cannot do and the brain, that your brain can be retrained. I love that. Um, how to talk to people out and about and how to book parties at your shows and words to say it both. Your passion shines through and com can completely influence Purchases and bookings at parties. That you must host coach effectively to keep sales high, to ensure bookings at every party, and to keep a consultant a constant full of leads. Um, I think host coaching is absolutely one of the most important things that you can do. Even if you only have one show on your calendar, you guys, you can change your business for your future. Um, did I tell you about Chris Mannion doing that one show? Did I share that story with you guys? <clears throat> when she started, she only had three people. She literally knew in, in three Chicago. And um, she, she wasn't going to be able to sign up because she didn't have a fourth show back then. It was, we put host names and numbers and all kinds of stuff on the, on the agreement. And um, so I gave her a shot till you drop night. And she... From that one night, it was only forty dollars in sales and only one booking. So you'd call that a failure, wouldn't you? Um, but she kept track of where that one booking took her. Six months later, it was over ten thousand dollars in sales and four recruits. So one lousy night can change your business. Remember that. Just one lousy night. <laughs> okay. Um, That's something like I hear. Um, so I just want to encourage you that, I mean, in fact, I had this discussion with another director and she says, but you know, people are needing bookings, people are needing bookings. And I said, yeah, but if they just got one show on the calendar <clears throat> and they have um, host coached well, instead of having only five people to sell to, if they have 10 or 12, it's like having two shows, isn't it? So, um, so host coaching, key, key, key. Um, and number six is that your skills will make a huge difference in every party. When you know your product, you can sell your product. When you know what to say, you know how to respond to objections and turn maybes into yeses. And when you tweak your host coaching skills, you have much bigger party averages with much better results. Host coaching is where you earn your paycheck, the party's where you pick it up. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm going to be Dick Tracy here. Hey, Paula. Hi, are you busy? Yes, I'm on my six weeks to success call. Why don't you say hi to everybody? <laughs> Hello, Paula. Eight o'clock. Or we have their seven, it's about 7.35. Okay, okay bye. Thought we were going to get words of wisdom out of there. She had a, a, co a coaching call to do herself. Did you have any questions about host coaching? And did any of you make any videos this week to coach your hosts? That was part of the homework. Okay. Are you scared to make videos? <laughs> did you create a fridge reminder for your host? That was also part of the, um, the I homework. I did have that. Did you? Okay. I do. Oh, you do that already. Awesome. 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 Okay. 
me see here. Let me bring this down a little bit. Come on. All right. It says, oops, what's this? Okay. Recruiting is just a conversation. Um, we're going to talk all about recruiting this week. And there's nothing really wrong that you could say to a person who's going to sign. You're just helping the potential consultant decide if, there's, if this is something for them. And it really is about confidence with this particular subject. Um, when you're confident in what you're selling, and when you're confident that it's not about you, that it's, it's just a matter of helping them decide if this is a good fit, um, it's, it's, then you don't take the no thank you personally, okay? Um, let me put you guys up here. There we go. That way I can look at you and not look to the side all the time. Okay. There we go. That's better. All right. Um, so how do you know what to say? It's actually pretty easy when you're working with a potential lead, just ask some basic questions, okay? You can follow your digital recruiting interview cards if you're doing an interview, and those are located on Consultant's Corner. And if you've never used those, those make them really easy. Sharon, I see you shaking your head. Tell me what you think about those. Well, they're just, they're great conversation starters, and, and it takes away the pressure of trying to, uh, number one, think of, Think of everything, you know, on the spur of the moment when you maybe are anxious about, you know, trying to deliver everything. But it also keeps you on track so that you don't vomit on them. Yeah. Um, it keeps, you know, I lay them out and, and I share with them, this is a tool that we use mm -hmm. to help be able to, you know, see if this would be a good, you know, option for you. Right. And so number one, they're seeing that the company gives us good tools to be able to use to help train and equip us. Yeah. Um, but it also narrows down because if they aren't really interested in the trips, they just need money, then that's what we talk about. And that's what I, you know, I, I tell them, I describe to them, these are some questions, you know, which ones are the ones that you want to know more about? Mm -hmm. And we talk about that. Yeah. And it just narrows things down and keeps you on track instead of going off and, you know, chasing rabbits. Yeah. And telling well, them too much that it's overwhelming. Absolutely. And I think that we start training before they join the company. Mm -hmm. and, um, think about any job you do. You have to accept the position first before you mm -hmm. go into orientation, don't you? Mm -hmm. They don't start telling you how, how you're going to do the job. What you, I mean, they may tell you a description of the job, but – those digital interview cards. And by the way, I'm gonna send this out. Uh, well, I, I should say I'll put it on the Facebook page as a document. I think this is a really good little um, thing to have that shows everything that's under shows and selling recipes, you know, all this different stuff. Um, and the digital interview cards are under marketing your business. So. I think it, this is a, a really nice little place uh, and something to even to send a new consultant um, so they can find things really easy. Okay, so I will put that on the, uh, Sharon, remind me if I don't put that on by, by tomorrow afternoon, remind me, okay? All right, so the digital recruiting interview cards. Life tastes great, grab a spoon, okay? Um, these cards... Um, uh, the tell me about yourself um, is let's chat about your family, your occupation, your interests, and your dreams, okay? Again, you want to find out their why. You want to know why this is interesting them. Um, what, what do they see um, in the way of, you know, uh, you know, somebody yesterday shared with me how they just hired a young man that's a chef. Um, just got out of culinary school, and um, he's having a tough time getting a job because you, you need experience, so you can't get experience until somebody hires you, one of those situations. And so he's going he's gonna to do this, and hopefully he won't ever have to get a chef's job, right? Um, but I, uh, this really warms up the conversation, all right? So, um, and then once you get to know the person a little bit, um, 
don't wait too long. Would you like to know more or just how to get started? Okay. A lot of times we'll just, we, we start thinking that they need all this information and in reality, they just want to know how to get started. And then we talk them right out of things, don't we? Okay. Um, and then here's the different cards. Which of these interests you? That's what Sharon was talking about. Easy, fun, money, why pamper chef, support, freedom and freedom and flexibility. Um, you know, and you say which one of these interests you the most, and then you can and you can this is all you can do this right over the phone or right on a, a call with people, all right? Um, and here's the next one. It's a um, I mean, hold on, this went too fast. Um, it's an easy business to run. Start with a grand opening show, whether it's virtual or real, you know, live. Uh, great host resort rewards equals easy to book shows. Talk to them that we are one of the very best, we have the one of the very best host programs in the country and it's all paid for by the Pampered Chef. Um, it's really, really an important um, fact. Um, they need to know that there's no delivery. They need to know that um, Pampered Chef pays for the tax on our host benefits, okay? With a lot of uh, companies, and this is the IRS, okay? Um, they charge tax on free merchandise. So the value of the merchandise, um, I don't know if you've ever had a show with another company, but um, I go, how, how did my bill get to be that? And here they charge tax on everything I got for free and half price, not just the half price amount. Pampered Chef, you know, we brought that up to Pampered Chef, isn't this illegal? And they said, well, actually, no, we pay for those, uh, for, for that. So Pampered Chef actually pays the IRS for that. So that's good to know. It's simple to sell products people love. When you think about a kitchen, everybody has one. And, um, you know, people say to me all the time, oh, my gosh, you're in for so long. And I, and I always follow it up with, I'm sure if I would have started a company with a different line, I still wouldn't be here today. I'm absolutely positive of that. The kitchen is common to everyday life. And everybody has a kitchen, whether they love to cook or hate to cook, they have to heat food. All right. Um, and even if it's just making popcorn, we've got something or maybe it's just something to serve something in that they pick up at the deli or at the grocery store to make it look like they cook something. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, we have what they need for those people too. And sometimes people who don't cook are just great shoppers. You know, they want to buy things for other people. So um, it's a minimal investment um, that I was just reading about another company um, that is having they're having lawsuits because it costs so much to start with them. And then, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it costs so much to start with that particular company. I'm not going to say who it is, but, um, and people are feeling like they got duped, you know? And uh, so there's some lawsuits going on with other companies, not ours, not ours, okay. But with another, another company that costs lots. If you guys think it's hard to get somebody to do $250, it's not. I mean, I paid four hundred dollars for my kit thirty-one years ago. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. In 1986, Marie paid the same thing for hers. We were talking about it today. We're going to be doing a uh, meeting out in New Jersey, and um, she, you know, we were laughing. We were saying I got something in my nose. We were saying how many of people wouldn't sign up today if they had to invest four hundred dollars especially when the minimum wage was $3.75. You know, $400 was a large investment. But we also knew if we didn't have the products, because we didn't have a catalog, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So if we didn't have the products, how could we sell it? We didn't have something in, in anything to show them. So, um, you know, and they took $100. You know, we had to pay $100 to start with, and then they took half of our check till the rest of it was paid off. And we didn't, we didn't even think about being a kidnapper. I mean, there were no kidnappers back then. It just, we, we made a commitment, you know, we did we work two nights a week. I mean, that's, that's what we did. And that's what built such big businesses because it was a consistent foundation 
And anytime, when you think about a part-time job, any other part-time job is going to ask for two four-hour periods. You're not going to ask for just one, you know. So almost any part-time job, someone's going to work twice a week. Only with our business, you can choose. And you can even just work once a week. I mean, that's, but I just find, let me put it this way. If somebody books just once a week or once every 10 days, if you have a show on the 1st, the 10th, and the 30th, the 1st, the 10th, and the 30th over two months, you've got six shows. If the 10th reschedules for any reason, now you're going 20 days from the 1st to the 30th, or the 20th rather, without doing a show. You've talked yourself right out of the business, haven't you? Um, people say, oh, this just isn't, this, this isn't working for me. Where in reality, you're the one that's not working, right? You're the one that's not doing the shows, so you haven't given it a fair chance. So I think it's really important when we start people, if they can, if they can fit it in to do two shows a week for three weeks in a row. That's your training period. And I, I like to tell them it's kind of like a song. You hear it the first time and it's got a catchy beat. The second time you hear it, you're humming along. The third time you're, ta you're, you're singing the chorus. The fourth time you've got some of the verses down. By the fifth time you're singing the song. And the sixth time you're not even thinking about singing the song, are you? You're just singing it. And I, I mean, karaoke. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, and I tell people that's how it is with the shows because if you wait too long in between, you forgot everything from the first show. So repetition is really important. And then I say after that three weeks, you can do whatever you like, okay? Um, and, of course, if they're a full-time worker and they have three kids and, and they start to look panicked, just say, well, you, you can also do this once a week. I just want you to get off to a really strong start. And the best way I know how to do that is by helping you, number one, earn your first paycheck and you'd be really happy about it. But secondly is the repetition factor and it's consistency. You're going to get bookings from each of those shows. And so what you want is to be able to turn and, and book three to four weeks out, five to six weeks out. You're not going to have any periods in there that are lagging. But in the end, it's up to you. All right. Um, so, and I like to encourage them to make money at their very first show. Okay. So then you say, now which other things? Okay. Um, Cause they picked, it's easy. So which out, what other thing interests you? And then here's some words to use. Come on. All right. Fun. So if they picked fun next, um, which one of these would be the most fun for you? Would it be free products, recognition and awards, free company paid vacations, friendships, or when we work, it's a party. And then they pick one of those items and you talk about it, you know? Like, like Sharon said, maybe it's, you know, the recognition and awards that's really going to float their boat. Maybe no one said that they're good at anything for a really long time, all right? Um, how would it feel to walk across the stage and receive an, uh, uh, an award? Um, how, how would that feel for you? You know, in our company, there, we have something called Excellence Awards, and everyone can earn that, not just one person, all right? And so it's a bar that's set, and you're only going against the bar, no one else. Um, that's really nice. Friendships. Um, you know, some people start the business because they're lonely. And, um, and trust me, I mean, with this new position I have in life of being single, there's, I'm looking for things to do in the evenings when I'm not out at meetings and, and doing shows, okay? So I understand that more, okay, more than ever um, about being out there and being social. Some people do this to be social, okay? Um, and... I like to say when I, when I set up and clean up and do my dishes, it's the only time I work. The rest is a party. It's fun. Okay. So then the next one is there, they pick is going to be money. Okay. Your earning potential is endless. Uh, fun money is one to three hours per week. <coughs> Excuse me. Contribute to my income 
it's three to six hours per week. Achieve a specific goal, financial goal, 1,400 to 18,000, okay, average monthly income. Uh, that's eight to 15 shows. Make a full-time income with flexibility, 6,800 to 45,000 a month, okay? And um, that's, it says uh, hours per week, 15 to 25. But I have to tell you, I don't know anybody that's making this kind of money that isn't working full time, all right? But um, really, it's, it's up to you. What do you want to do and what can you fit in? So this is really, it's a good chart, all right? Um, okay. Now the next one is which of these interests you? Um, freedom and flexibility. Being your own boss. I like to say, are you the best CEO? Are you the best employee of your company or the worst employee? <laughs> okay. Um, think about that. Do you go to work or do you call in sick? <laughs> or what do they say? Call off. You can tell I haven't been in the work, uh, in the work uh, schedule for, for a very, uh, in a long time. Um, flexibility. I mean, flexibility is really, really important today. I mean, that's one of the top things when, when Pamper Chef did their um, surveys. Flexibility is huge, especially with young people. Planning your business around your life and not, not the business planning your life, you know, um, and telling you what you have to do and freedom to create the life you want. So that's, those are all really important things to people. Um, and the next one is support. What kind of support would be important to you? So can you see how these, these cards are really easy to work with? This is all right on there. Has, has anybody besides Sharon used them? Chris, have you used it all, at all? No? And you can print these off or you can do it digitally right with the people. How about anybody else on the call? Okay. You got to do, do they still have them available in the uh, paperwork supply? Or did they take that out? Uh, not, I'm not sure, Sharon. That's a good question. That's a good question. We can, uh, we can look those, look, look at that. I know you could, you could. At just, one point, but I don't know if they're still there. Yeah. I don't they know. Really, well, they may have gotten rid of them. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right. So the next thing is why Pampered Chef? Why PC? Everyone loves Pampered Chef. Um, that's what people say all the time. Um, in fact, I, at PT today, I had my little Pampered Chef jacket on. And one of the girls, um, she's going through the catalog, you know, one of the nurses, and she said, I'm so excited. She goes, I haven't been to a show in so long. And it's amazing how many new things your company has now. And so I invited her to an event at my house on the 10th. And, um, and all the girls are going to be coming. They're, they're not working on Saturday, so they're excited it's a Saturday because a lot of them work till 7.30 at night because people go to PT until 7.30 after work and stuff. But everybody loves Pampered Chef. I mean, we've got such a great reputation and I want to thank all of you guys for all you do every day to keep that reputation strong because it really is, it really does make a difference. It's, it benefits all of us, doesn't it? Um, you can earn free products every season. December and January are coming up. I hope you've got some nice shows booked for December and uh, hopefully January as well. And you can keep filling in that January all month long in November um, because you are absolutely going to want to earn the top levels this year. Okay. I've seen the next lineup. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. So, we cover the cost of your host rewards. That's again, I talked about that a few minutes ago. Really important. Some other companies say that they pay more, but by the time they take all their stuff out of there, they don't make any more than we do, okay, percentage wise. There's no inventory to stock. Really, you do not have to um, add any more money to this if you don't want to. Um, you can earn free business supplies. 
And especially in your first 90 days, I tell people to front load their first 90 days because you can earn so many PC dollars that will take you through mm -hmm. a long time. And you can, you, you can pay a conference with that. You can um, do your um, paperwork. You can buy more products that you don't have. And that's all free money if you work hard those first 90 days, okay? All right, so the next one, and I think the last one, is it's easy to get started, okay? So can you come to my next show on, or maybe it's a virtual show? Can, I, can you join my next virtual show so you can see what's going on, or you can go through it with them? Um, where's Sherry? Sherry, are you still in here, on here? Uh, I don't know, Sherry, Sherry's my, uh, my virtual queen here. Um, but any, Sherry, are you still here? Sherry Isinger? Okay. Um, but, you know, so I know people do a little things different on, uh, with virtual shows. Um, I know some people say that they set up four virtual shows at the, from the very start, right when someone signs up. And they share their outline with them and just have them change the different host name and they walk them through how to do that. So they get going right out the door. Um, and, and you want to show them how to change things so they don't get thrown in Facebook jail. All right. And also tell them not to, not to post too many things. You know, I, I think people get turned off when there's too many posts in the, in the, um, Every day, you know, uh, it's just tell them to be careful with that because um, I know that's that I'm hearing a little pushback from uh, from people that that that's what people are saying. There's too many posts, so choose wisely. And I know Pamper Chef is working on some things as well, so I'm excited for that to all come out. Okay. Um, also, also, Nancy Joe, and I'm not sure about the details of why, but this past week, maybe two weeks, there's been a lot of Facebook jail people have been talking about. I know. They, um, there's, something has changed, and I'm not quite sure what. And Sherry's on her iPhone now. Sherry, can you join us? I Go ahead. I, I, sorry, my, my computer froze up on me, so I'm, I'm trying to get back on. Um, I haven't noticed anything with Facebook differently for the last week, so I can't really comment on it. Okay. Can anybody else comment? Anybody else know? But I, I've, just, I've just seen other comments about it. I haven't. Yeah. Sharon, I, I agree. I've heard a lot of uh, pushback. Um, I've been on the phone with, a, with all my directors, uh, anybody who's doing anything over the past week. Um, and, uh, some people said that they were put in jail. <laughs> um, so I'm not exactly sure what they were looking at that, to get them there. Um, I'm just not sure if anybody has a clue, let us know. So we don't do that. But, um, the next team meeting it's on, and then you fill it, fill in the blank and tell them about how important team meetings are or virtual meetings. I do both. Um, I have a meeting and then I do a consultant call that's uh, equivalent to our meeting and our training call tomorrow will be at, you know, you want, what you want to do is make that connection and say, I'd love to let you get your kit ordered and then we'll start your training right away tomorrow. What, when do you have a 20 minute period? Because remember, Pampered Chef is going to be sending them stuff. All right. And, and there is a page, um, on the um, new consultant training that you're going to see what Pampered Chef is going to give them and then you're going to see what your response or your training should be, okay? So I highly, highly recommend looking at that, okay? And I don't even know if it's included in this training just because um, it's so brand new, the Pampered Chef. So um, let's order your kit. Which kit fits you? The ultimate kit? The deluxe kit or the starter kit? Let me tell you the, the premiums or the value of each one. And you talk about this ultimate kit. If you can do this, 
it's going to be your greatest value at over a thousand dollars worth of merchandise for 249 and I always tell people you're never going to get a deal like that again okay you're never going to get other than earning your samples for free in the future but you're never going to be able to get products at 75 percent off all right um, um, so, so and then the deluxe kit is over 650 and I kind of just tell them the different recipes you can do with each one. Now, people that restart, or if they were a consultant in the past, you know, like Sherry was saying, the gentleman that she's going to do her show for this week, he might just want the starter kit because he may have a bunch of the things up here. All right. I always tell people to order the starter kit um, over re. Um, what do they call that? Oh, I'm just, I just, my mind just went blank. What, um, you know how they re-sign, Sharon, help me out, help me out, you know, it's um, renewal program. The, say it again, Sherry? The renewal program. The renewal program. Program. thank you. The renewal program. I always tell them, re-sign up for two reasons. Number one, you're going to get a free 90-day um, um, business page, okay, a web page, and then you're also going to be able to earn PC dollars and the free whatever it is for this month. The renewal kit, you're just paying $35 for some catalogs, basically. You know, um, so I highly recommend doing the starter kit. You know, absolutely. Okay. Um, and here's some words for those who want to do it all, provide cooking solutions around a larger selection of product, and you can just hit the button. Let's get started, okay. The deluxe is for those who need mealtime solutions and want to help others become better meal makers. And then the starter kit is for the entertainer or those who love to help others entertain. Okay, those are just words to use. Um, but I almost 100% of my people do the, the, um, do the top kit, the ultimate kit, okay. And then the next um, screen is let's order your kit. Okay, so it's so easy, easy. The digital cards are just a breeze to work with. It's really done all for you, and the person that you're working with really leads the way on what's next, what's next, okay? Um, so don't be afraid to ask these closing questions. Um, have I answered all your questions? Let them answer. Shall we go ahead and order your kit right now? The last question is going to bring out any objections, and uh, which is what you need to know if they aren't completely ready to sign. And a lot of times, guys, it's just about um, timing, okay? Uh, and timing is everything. If they, it, I mean, there's never a perfect time. There's always going to be stuff in our life that comes up. But if they've got someone in the hospital or someone that um, that you know they're going to be taking a vacation for two weeks, it's Sign them up when they get back. Well, let's get let's get everything ready to roll. Let's call some people to get bookings on the calendar. But I'm going to have you sign up as soon as you get back, or maybe when you're out of town, you can hit the button and order your kit. So your kit gets there right when you get home. Okay? Because you don't want to waste two weeks either. Because uh, then and then they get started in two weeks, so they're not their first show. Then isn't for a month out. Then if they decided to sign you can show this last side, slide, and that's welcome to the pampered chef. I like to say welcome to the family, you know, because mm -hmm. really that, that is what we are with the pampered chef. And um, it's, uh, it's not a bunch of hokey, okay? It, it is truly, we are a family. Okay, so do you have any questions here about an objection you may be afraid to answer? This, this, this. Hold on one second. Let me fix this. There we go. All right. So are there any objections here? I mean, any questions that you uh, are afraid to answer or that you don't know the answer of? No? We good? The biggest thing, here's, here's how you deal with that. If they ask you something you don't know or you haven't come across, 
that's exactly what you say is, you know, that's a great question. I haven't come across that personally, but the really great thing about Pampered Chef is I've got a director that I can go to to ask a question, or I can post that on Facebook, on our PC page, and I'll have an answer for you right away. Just say, I don't know. That is a great question. I've never come across that. But let me find out for you. There's no harm in letting people know you don't have to know all the answers. There's actually confidence for them that they won't have to know all the answers right. when they get started, okay? And when they start to share this with people. In fact, um, I let people know all the time, do you have a friend or two that you think might like to do this along with you? I can train all of you at once, you can already get your team started and you'll have a blast because it's with one of your friends or two of your friends, a sister, a neighbor, you know, somebody from work, somebody to drive to meetings to uh, with or, you know, go on vacation with. I can't tell you how many people I meet when we're on vacation with Pampered Chef and their sisters or girlfriends and they're, they're there with their house spouses and, um, and it's awesome. It's awesome. So... Don't freak out. It's just a conversation, okay? I don't know what this screen is all about, but anyway. <laughs> so we're still working on your skills. Remember that. This is still the skills. Skill pillar, all right? Skills are such a major component of your success. The more you tweak your skills, the more you learn about selling, post-coaching, booking, and recruiting, the better your business is going to be. The better your skill, the bigger your check. All right. So again, skills are one of the easiest pillars in our business because it's the one everyone can fix. Anytime they need to simplify, or by, excuse me, anytime they can fix. Let me try it again. Skills are one of the easiest pillars in our business because it's, it's the one everyone can fix anytime they need to simply by doing this. Practice recruiting with your friend. You just might recruit your friend, all right? Mm -hmm. Let people know you have to, your homework is to practice with three people, all right? Who would you love to work with? Choose wisely. Say, hey, would you do this with me? I need to practice, all right? Developing personal stories about your business. It's really important that it's personal. People connect with you then. It's not just sign them up, all right? People want to do business with you. Study the digital recruiting card so it comes off your lips really fast and easy, all right? Watch and listen to the home office and other trainings. If you haven't gone through the brand new consultant training that they've just released in the past 30 days, I'm going to challenge you to do that because there's all these little video snippets that Stacia Smiley is doing. It's, they're wonderful. It's the, um, she's uh, one of the, um, the, managers, the uh, field managers from Pam Pamper Chef. And I'm telling you, she is so relatable. It is awesome. It is just awesome. Okay. Um, attend team meetings and uh, recipe nights. Go to conference. Start putting away a few dollars for conference even now. Listen to the Saturday success calls. Read business books on direct sales. Whoops. Hold on. And um, uh, selling, sharing the business, direct sales for dummy. Belinda Ellsworth did uh, direct sales for dummies. It's really, really good. Watch YouTube trainings. Go to PC team training, okay? That's not on here, but I'm going to put that on the Facebook page again because maybe some of you um, aren't going there. There's everybody and anybody who's anybody in this company has got phone calls, video trainings, YouTubes. It's amazing what's on there. You can learn anything you want to and from all the best of the best. If you like Wednesday night, the night before conference, it's Wednesday night on steroids, okay? <laughs> all right, do lots of shows. You get better at sharing with every single party. This is key, guys. Um, mm -hmm. Skills are easily ta caught and easily taught, all right? You can do it. I was um, speaking to one of the um, heads of Pampered Chef, one, um, 
um, Carrie Ann Gomez. And um, I was telling her that one of the biggest things that we can do to make Camper Chef grow is to have people with strong show schedules. I said, it's not about recruiting skills nearly as much as it is about show skills. Because here's the deal. When you have a calendar that you're happy with, you're gonna come across happy and successful, and you're gonna feel confident about sharing the business with people. Because what you're not gonna say is, Pamper Chef, is a, we're just not liars, we're not good liars at all. <laughs> and um, what we're not gonna say is, oh, you should try Pamper Chef. It's not working for me, but maybe it'll do okay for you. I mean, we're just not even gonna talk about it, are we? If we're not happy with our show schedule, it's gonna be really hard to tell someone else, you should try this. It's a really great business, right? Mm -hmm. That's why it's so very important to get your show schedule where you want it. Because, mm -hmm. and, and you hold the measuring stick. You hold the measuring stick. If, if working once a week is great for you and your family, that's awesome. You're gonna feel good and you're gonna feel confident about sharing. Um, I think it's one of the most important things. I see you shaking your head, Sharon. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It, yeah. it just, it's a con personal confidence that comes across without you saying a word. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're doing what you want, it, it's just, you want to help others be successful too. So it's just a natural thing. All right. So any questions? I love this little, this little parrot, isn't he great? It says, fortune knocks but once, but misfortune has much more patience. <laughs> you know, at church on Saturday, they, um, the pastor, uh, his, his uh, sermon was about the decisions we make today are the stories we'll tell tomorrow. And I just thought, I think that's going to be my mantra this next year. I think I'm, that's what's going to be, you know, I get dream, vision, all this different thing. But I just, that hit me like crazy because it's so true. The very things that we decide with our family, with our business, with our work, with our, anything, you know, I was so glad I was out pulling my dead plants on Saturday because the sun was shining. I didn't want to, okay? It was cold in Chicago. But the sun was shining, and the past two days have been nothing but dreary. And if I would have had to do it yesterday or today, I would have been miserable out there because at least the sun wasn't shining, you know, was shining, all right? And I, I look outside, and at least half of my yard is clear anyway. <laughs> I still got to do the other half. But I filled up the bin. I filled up the bin, and I was really happy with myself. And it was, make, it was a matter of making a decision to do it. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Just, just do it, you guys. Put yourself out there. And one of the most important things you can do is this show schedule. So get on it, work on it, get it done so that you don't have to think about it again. Because remember, once you have two months of what you want, you only need to get one show from each show, one booking from each show to keep that up. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of that hump, getting over the hill, and then the rest is going to be easy. Okay. And this is the best time this is the best time of year to do one of those push months. Absolutely, Sharon, absolutely. Yeah. People are calling us to do shows. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's vendor events are all over the place. Um, just everything. A, a, anything and everything. So your homework this week, thank you, Sharon, for, for reiterating that because it's really, really the truth. Um, you can change anything in the fall. It's harvest time. Mm -hmm. It's harvest time. So your homework is Top Recruiters Tell All with Brenda Copy and Genevieve Black. Okay, and I'll put, as, as always, I'll put the homework on there uh, on the Facebook page. Um, and then it's, it's, we answer the same questions every week. Is how many shows will you commit to booking this week? How many host coaching calls? Set up a follow-up call with your recruiter. How many leads did you get? How many bookings? What were the sales? What do you have trouble with? And what's one brag you have this week? Okay. So um, those, those are all the same questions from every week. 
So I want to thank you all for attending. I know this class was a little longer. I talked, uh, it's, recruiting is one of my passions. Um, I, uh, I know how simple the business is and how simply you can offer it to people. Um, I, none of us knew what we were doing at the beginning. I, I, there's so much good training now. There's so much, so many resources that tell us exactly what to do, how to answer every question, all that stuff. We didn't know what we were doing when we started. Okay, we had nothing. We had no training. We had, we didn't even, like I said, we didn't even have a catalog. But we, our enthusiasm is what brought us to new recruits. Okay, and um, I know for me personally, when I the year I came in in 1986, the company was six years old. And the most anyone had ever recruited in a year was seven. Well, I recruited 11 in my, in my, from January to May. January 28th is when I came back. Remember, I was only going to do this in the fall for some Christmas money. And then I decided to stay with the business. Well, I, I decided on January 15th, it took me a couple days to get some bookings on the calendar and then to have those get out the, you know, all the, I had to get the host packet. And so the show didn't, my first show back in 1987 was January 28th. And I think it's really interesting that in the first from September, I started, I joined the company on September 11th and I did shows till about the 10th of December. I did not recruit one person during that time. I was averaging three to five bookings a night but not one person talked to me about the business and I did not ask anyone because you know what guys, I wasn't staying. And, and I, like I said a couple weeks ago, I'm embarrassed to say I still had all that paperwork. About 10 years ago, I went through every single show I did the first six months. And it was amazing that not one person marked the box for recruiting until I was different. It was all up here. That very first show back, when I decided I was staying, I got my first recruit. Then I had five recruits in three and a half weeks. Everybody qualified in their first month. Back then, you had to, they had to do twelve fifty in sales, all five, and you had to do 4000 as a team, between you and your team. And I want you to know an average party back then was $275. Wow. That's a whole different world than it is today, Okay. <laughs> So I want to encourage you that it's a mindset. Recruiting is absolutely a mindset. And it's not about you. It is about who you can help. And you just got to keep offering because the next no is going to bring you closer to the yes. Okay? Always know that. You know, you've heard the, spring, the phrase go for no. You're going to have no thank yous. And I taught you how to handle that last week, didn't I? Mm -hmm. All right. But, Put it for those of you that didn't get to see it or whatever. Would you the seed planted? Planted. Yes. Thank you, Sharon. A seed planted. You decide if you'd like to water it. Okay. So, um, you guys, recruiting is just about sharing your heart and sharing what may be an answer to prayer with someone. Don't be afraid because they may have just prayed that day. I need. I need to do something else. I don't know how I'm going to fit anything else in. I need to make at least $100 to $120 a night. And part-time jobs aren't going to get you that. Right? Mm -hmm. So you may be the answer to someone's prayer. Don't hold back. Don't be selfish. Go for the no, and you're going to be amazed. So my first four months of business when I came back in that January, I recruited 11. The next... June 1st to May 31st, I recruited 20. I should say I qualified 11, qualified 20. And then the next year I qualified 36. I'm sorry, 38. But when you think about even 38, it's only three people a month. I was seeing about 100 people a month. All right? So three people is not that many. If you put 100 people in a room, do you think three of them are going to need some extra money, a fun night out, something social? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a matter of opening up your heart and, and being willing to, to get no thank you because that really is what it is. It's about willing to hear no thank you.
because you will hear the yes, thank you, soon enough. I promise. Okay? Thank you for spending this evening with me. Um, put it into action, you guys. This is the probably other than post coaching, it's it's the next most important thing you need to learn to grow your business and to earn a great income for your future. So does anybody have any questions? All right. So you're going to be two thirds of the way through <laughs> after tonight. Um, and, and remember, you guys can, can want to do this with your team. Those of you that are directors, you can, uh, I can send you this outline to do that, okay? Well, I think we already are, actually. We're mm -hmm. sending it every week, aren't we? So, um, well, thank you very much, everybody. Be blessed this week. And remember, work it hard, because this is harvest time, okay? All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, Nancy. Good night. Okay, let me see how to do this now. <laughs> All right. There we go.